Um, hi everyone, um, this is the interview with, with Pat, and I'm really excited for this because um, Pat, um, Pat's a really, really interesting guy. Um, he, um, he teaches English and he teaches Thai and he does a whole bunch of um, other, uh, other stuff. Um, anything yeah. you want to um, introduce yourself or say about oh, yourself? Okay. My name is Pat. Um, I'm Thai and um, uh, I used to uh, study abroad for, for eight years, uh, five in, Bel in Belgium and three in the States. Um, I right now I work for the the Federation of Profession uh, Accounting for Professions and um, what else? Um, I also I teach both Thais and English, so that's it I think. Okay, and then um, you said you you went first to Belgium and then and then to the U.S. Yes. And then, uh, where, uh, which places in the U.S. did you go to? Um, first, I arrived in in uh, the D.C. area. Okay. Near um, in the Maryland, uh, kind of like the in the Maryland states, and then I moved to to Texas after that. Okay. And then, which? Um, DC is a really, really giant, or, or at least um, like like so. Like so big. in the in the Maryland DC border. Oh, okay. Rock is called Rockville. Uh, okay, cool. And then, wh um, which part of Texas did you live in? Um, in in um, the small town of Denton, Texas. Uh, it's near Dallas. Oh, okay. And um, do you like U.S. barbecue? Sure, I like U.S. barbecue, but. I, I like everything about U.S. actually. Okay. Because oh. I um, like like sometimes um, sometimes they'll have like like at the night market. Have you been to Chef Chef Tui Ranger? They have like ribs that are kind of like sure like U.S. U.S. style. Uh, when I was in in the, in Texas, we went to Outback. Uh huh. Kind of like um, like uh, the the barbecue change. Uh, uh, restaurant chain uh -huh. over there, and the ribs and all the all the food are pretty good. But uh, for for Asian, uh, we tend to go to like you know those Chinese uh -huh. restaurant uh, where you have all the buffets and stuff like that. I went there too. Yeah, yeah, and and the bar um, barbecue in bar barbecue in Thailand is much different than barbecue in the U.S. because um, barbecue in Thailand is like grilled seafood, and yeah. um, and then barbecue in the U.S. Uh, um, grilled grilled seafood with a, with a spicy sauce, and then barbecue in the U.S. is more um, tend to be more meat. Yeah, yeah, like pork, and red meat, and um, beef. So, 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 which one do you prefer, um, Texas barbecue or Thai barbecue? I, I'm more of a carnivore guy, so. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I, I, everything is okay for me. The seafood, uh, beef. I tend, I tend to, to eat more, uh, sea, seafood nowadays because I think it's more kind of like, um, uh, more varieties. Than than the meat itself, and uh, meat over here is kind of like you know, it's not that good. Much, it's not that good. That it's not. It's a bit. It's okay, but it's not that good, uh, comparing to the American you know, taste. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, especially like uh, because beef isn't served very much uh, here. So yeah. So so like beef and uh, beef in Thailand is usually over here, hard. And, over here, uh, when we talk about food, uh, let me give you both sides. Okay. In in Thailand nowadays, uh, um, Thai people tend to kind of focus on the diet, mm -hmm. uh, losing weights and stuff like that. They shape, and uh, they tend to lose weights uh, wrongly. Mm -hmm. But in in the states, they tend to focus on uh, low carb and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of different things. And uh, Yeah, and so so you mentioned um, Thai people um, tend to lose weight wrongly. 
Yeah. And um, what's uh, what's an example of that? Like you know all those you know um, losing weight pills, uh -huh. and also. Oh, so, so so Thai people really like to take losing weight pills. Yeah, they they try they like uh, experimenting things like you know, kind of like you know, oh, I uh, will try this, I will try that, but at the same way, um, when they. It's it's almost like a super uh, super stages on on things like you know I believe it's helped me doing this, but nowadays uh, it's kind of like more like a commercial things. Uh -uh. Uh, and yeah, I I think I think uh, when when we talk about healthy food in Thailand. Uh, we tend to go for uh, 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 what we call like it's not a vegan. It's kind of like sim uh, what we call a uh, Chinese vegan, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. which is kind of like a Chinese vegan. It's almost like vegan, but uh, uh, they tend to uh, the concept is the same, but the practice are different, a bit different. Uh, I also have um, personally. Uh, I was born on on Wednesday. Okay. I'm a I'm a, I'm not a Wednesday boy, but um, I was born on Wednesday. So I believe that um, uh, if you in Tha some of the Thai family, if you were born in specific days uh -huh. and you eat. Uh, you know, clean and uh, healthy. It's make your life healthy. Some some family believe that. Uh, uh, so so for if you're born on Wednesday in Thailand, then it's yeah. it, it's especially important. For I you always to eat healthy. Uh, yeah, I I if I have a chance, I always I almost always eat um uh um uh like uh vegetable. Uh -huh. Uh, or uh, I become a, a vegetarian on Wednesday. Uh, uh, okay. So vegetarian dish on Wednesday, but if if something came up and then I forgot about it, I, it's completely okay for, with me. So it's not it's not a big deal. Uh -huh. But some people tend to be vegetarian their whole life. But uh -huh. for me, it's just Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, and and I um, I was vegetarian for four for four years, and um, Thai um, Thai doesn't have too much too much like strict strict vegetarian, but sure. uh, but but there are some there are some places. So so where uh, where do you go for vegetarian, vegetarian on on, uh, on nowadays Wednesdays? The, um, there's some um, um, most restaurants have vegetarian dish, uh -huh. dishes. But you have to to tell them mm -hmm. that you are a vegetarian, and like at the same way, vegetarian and ahanje or Chinese vegan are most likely very close. Uh -huh. You know, if you if you are vegetarian in Thailand, you just don't eat meat. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't you do, you specific don't you specifically don't eat meat. Uh -huh. But you eat all the dairy products and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, the the Chinese vegan, they eat only like you know, they don't eat dairy the uh, dairy products. Mm -hmm. You know something that you don't have. They don't eat milk or something like that. But it's not as extreme as a vegan in in the in the states because I think I have researched before that. The vegan, they don't use the products from the, the 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 cows or something like that too. Yeah, yeah, and and most of um, most of my vegan friends in the U.S. Um, like they don't uh, they don't want to get shoes that are made out of leather. Yeah, yeah, or, that's or that's kind like of that. like extremist yeah, to, yeah. to to the <laughs> Thai, but. But uh, Chinese. Uh, but, uh, uh, but then in um, in Thai, it's a little extreme too because with with Jay, you can't eat garlic, right? Uh, no, actually, uh, the, I believe that uh, uh, 
the vegetable that they don't eat is something that have very really, uh, kind of smell. Okay. Really oh. smelly, like you know, something like um, uh, garlic or uh, something that have a really um, strong smell. Yeah, something like that. Uh -huh. But some believe that they can have oyster, which is kind of, is kind of like a weird uh, and weird uh, belief because uh -huh. uh, the Chinese uh, that goddess uh, when it's believed that it was a belief that uh, when the goddess was in in the, on Earth. Mm -hmm. And she tried to survive herself. Uh, she, uh, the the oyster, uh, sacrificed himself to her. Uh uh. So that so, so was so a story. So 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 nothing um um nothing animal except for oysters. Yeah. The, for uh, for, um, I, for I don't for, know um, if for some people. I I don't know if that's a fact, but most people believe that uh, they can eat oyster. Uh uh. Okay. And that's um, that's that's interesting, especially for like like U.S. vegetarians and vegans coming to um, coming to the U.S. If um, so, so probably like a lot of because um, a lot of stuff has oyster sauce too. Uh -huh. And so, so a U.S. Veg a U.S. vegetarian usually would say, "Oh no, no oyster sauce for me." Yeah, but but, um, but uh, having said that, uh, lots of a lot of Thai, they tend to oh, no oysters uh -huh. because we are we we are. Chinese vegan, uh -huh. so it's kind of like you know, if we're vegan, we can't have all the all the the, the meat from the creatures or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then um, w uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about is is you um, you as a teacher because um, you mentioned that you've been teaching for uh, like a long long time yeah. in in your life. So um, so you teach both. Um, English, um, English to Thai people and Thai to um, English-speaking people. Oh, okay. So, so ha um, how did you how did you first get into teaching? Okay, I I will start off with when I was in in this uh, in Belgium, I was uh, um, like assistant coach, tennis assistant coach. That's where I start off with teaching, not really English, mm -hmm. but I've been in the. U.S. for three years and Belgium in for five years. I've been studying English for eight years mm. because when in Belgium um, they speak French, but I went to the international school over there, so my English was my second language over there. So I have to communicate in English, and when I moved to the states, well, English is the the first language there. So, so, so do, do you also speak French? A little bit. Um, un petit peu. <laughs> but oh. but uh, when when I was in, in Thai, before I went to to Belgium, I have to study French a bit first okay. because uh. Uh, in order to to get used to the, the language and the custom there. So, and and when I left there, uh, French is not much help for me, except the streets. Uh -uh. Like it's the same way uh, when foreigner coming to Thailand, and they they have to learn Thai, right? Uh -huh. So something like that. So that's why I become a a teacher. Kind of, I'm I don't I don't call myself teacher uh -huh. because I don't have um, a teaching. Uh, degrees uh, over here is a big um, it's a big thing that you you need a degree to certify that you can teach mm -hmm. but I, I, I prefer myself as a, a tutor a helper to help people to learn to to learn by themselves that way is more you know and then um, I think you said you you first started like teaching or tutoring in France, right? Or so, sorry, in, 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 Belgium. in Belgium. Yeah, um, I I start uh, 
tutoring in 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 Belgium for kind of like help people to to uh, back then people uh, speak English but they were not good at math or something like that mm -hmm. but back then you know in in Thailand we English is not like our thing mm -hmm. in Thailand but we are very good in other stuff like math, uh, science, you know, all those other subjects. Mm -hmm. So back then, um, I got all A's on my my math, and I help people with my math and the techniques. Help. So I becoming more like a tutor over there. So when I come back, I decide to oh, I have the experience of teaching mm -hmm. as a tutor why don't I teach Thai or English to the people who need it that's that's kind of like you know the story behind it oh, co oh cool that's um, that, that's interesting and you also said you're a tennis player yes um, I was a, 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 a tennis player in my in my uh, high school I was um, kind of like in a team, uh -huh. the school team, but not not a very really good one. <laughs> but, well, uh, I tried to practice back then. I did practice almost every day, but uh -huh. over here, uh, you don't see a lot of people playing tennis. So. Yeah, I um, I think I've seen one tennis court like outside. Um, yeah. pr probably most of the tennis courts are inside since Thai people yes, love yeah. air conditioning. Yes. No, I think. Uh, well, uh, the outdoor tennis court are more for the, the club, uh, the uh, okay. tennis club. And if you go to the, you know, the seaside, the, the, the province, like, like um, in the south or something like that, you will see a lot of hotels with tennis court. Uh, uh. And people like to tend to go to the tennis court in the hotels more likely than go to the club. Oh, okay. So, so like, um, like a regular Thai person would go to a hotel yeah. to play tennis. Yeah. Huh. Or, or have a competitions. Oh, okay. Oh, so, so the like the hotels will sponsor competitions and yes. and you go there. Okay, cool. And then, um, so, so do you play tennis now? Um, haven't touched my racket for almost five, ten years already. Oh, oh, wow. So, um, and and I'm. Like I'm, I'm very uncoordinated. Mm. Um, the, the few times I've tried to play tennis, I, I keep thinking, oh, it's impossible to hit the ball. I, I still, uh, I, can, I still can teach tennis because I'm more of um, a conceptual kind of uh -huh. person. You know, I learned um, by uh, memorizing the techniques uh -uh. and you use it with my, my uh, kind of like. Adapted to my abilities. You know. Okay, and then um, you've you've also taught tennis, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, can you talk about that? Sure. Uh, well, actually, um, when I teach, when I taught tennis back then, I have a problem with my English. Uh huh. Because back there, I first arrived in in Belgium, my English is not that good. I was in. Um, I told you before that um, uh, I was in a kind of like um, well, I, I can tell you the name of um, the uh, international school that I went to, mm -hmm. ISB. ISB. Yeah, uh, is um, uh, ISB is um, international school of Brussels in Belgium. Okay. So it's um, American environment still the same as in America. So um, my English is somewhat okay, but not like, um, not on par with other people. Mm -hmm. So I have some difficulties with my pronunciation back then. Uh, uh, uh. And when I teach, my coach always said that, when you say that you mean, I was, I once was complained from the parents that I used the wrong word. Uh, I actually, 
I curse that children. <laughs> I like probably because of my accent or my pronunciation. Uh uh-uh. uh. And um, uh, so, so so were were you cursing really, or they no, just uh, uh, they, um, they just thought you were cursing? Yeah. Uh-uh. Well, actually, like like for example, um, back in the Belgium, uh, when I was in the uh, um, what is it the communication course. My teacher have um, uh, impromptu uh, kind of like uh, speech impromptu things. Mm-hmm. And we have to pick up the kind of like the title from the ad and we have to talk about it. And I got the word cheating with C-H. <laughs> and when I talk, when I t- uh, they gave me two minutes to talk about it without preparing, no uh-huh. script. So I talk on and on, and I keep talking about cheating, 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 cheating. And suddenly people start laughing at me. Like, I did, I, I talk to myself, I didn't make a joke, any joke. <laughs> After I finish giving a speech for two minutes, I ask my friend at the back, what did I, I mean, he, he or she asked me, what word did you get? Like cheating, like with CH, like, and they told me that, really? Because when we heard it, it started with SH and it's short. <laughs> okay, I got it. I, you know what I meant? Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because in, um, yeah, yeah, that's, um, so, so that's kind of a cruel trick from the teacher. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, because like, there, um, lots and lots of languages, um, well, like, like, like Thai, Thai doesn't have an SH sound, and so every, um, everything with SH um, always, um, Thai people say, that, say that's CH. come to my point. And, and, oh. and, 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 and Thai doesn't have an I sound, so everything with I, then Thai people say is E. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, and so, so, like when you're listening, then it sounds sure. it sounds identical. Even even if you say cheating exactly like a, an American, then like to the um, to to the Americans they like adjust. Yeah. Um, and nowadays, uh, like that's that's how I adapted to my teaching <laughs> stuff, so that I won't be I won't repeat the history. You know, uh-huh. I said okay, I have to focus on pronunciations. Mm-hmm. But uh, that way, I have to learn from both both sides. I mean, from the American perspective uh-huh. and from the Thai. So I have to watch Thai learning English and English learning Thai to get um, all the all sides. Uh-uh. Uh, so probably the best way is using the the SWOT in in teaching. Know, like the strength, the weakness, something oh, wait, like that. Um, so, 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 what's strength? Um, what's sword? What's, what's sword? Uh, is from strength, weakness, opportunity, and uh, T is a uh, task or ri- the risk that uh-huh. you take. So, but but the strength and weakness are uh, the most important, so that you you know what 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 you need and you know what you don't have to focus on something like that okay and then um, c- um, could you um, could you talk about your t- your teaching technique like how um, how you like to how you like to teach people um, because a, l- a lot of people and and especially like Thai people learning English um, c- um, c- um, are really really afraid of saying of saying anything uh-huh. and and so Th- how um, Th- uh, most of Thai people, uh, uh, they learn from from the wrong conceptual uh, mm-hmm. strike uh, techniques because they start from grammar uh, and then they move to and and um, c- um, could you um, could you back up a little bit and, uh, and, and, and give give more background on like like how how Thai or how English is usually taught to Thai people? Sure. Uh, in 
Um, okay, let's start with the. Uh, uh, I will compare. Okay. Uh, Thai and the Americans, I think, is more logical. Yeah. Okay. The Americans are when you were born, you start talking, right? Mm -hmm. You pronouncing words. Thai, when we start learning English, we start with A, B, C, A and B birds. So it's kind of like a, um, memorizing the words, mm -hmm. but not pronouncing it. Well, we know that A is ant, but we don't, we don't really go into the pronunciations. That why, that's why Thais, I, I, I think Thais are, they have like a lot of words in their mind, mm -hmm. but they don't know how to use it. So they were afraid that, oh, when I, when I, when I use this, this word, I might be wrong, wrong tense or something like that. That's, that's why they tend to focus more on, on tense on grammar or something like that. They, they start kind of like differently. And that's where we were taught in, in the past. Uh, uh, yeah, and, and I, I, I noticed that especially with, um, because a lot of people ask me questions about English. And so some, pe some people that, can't, that have a hard time even saying a sentence, like I went to the store, mm -hmm. like, like um, some, some people that would have a really hard time saying that sentence mm -hmm. are asking me really complicated questions about grammar like mm -hmm. oh when uh, when do I use um, uh, what's the difference between expecting and and ex, um, expected <laughs> yeah yeah I expecting and expected yeah um, but 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 like even simple se sentences then they struggle with yeah and and so so, so it's really it's really interesting that you mentioned that because I've because um, I've seen because, that I, like, I've seen that too as people people get getting so intense about the grammar that they uh, uh, that they that yeah. they kind of stop learning the, other the stuff. The thing is that uh, uh, the barrier between Thai and English is the tense. Mm -hmm. Because in Thai we don't have tenses. Like we just add words and subtract words. Like if you want to say I went to some place you just put Lao or Pai Lao something like that. Uh, when, when you want a future, you just, it, it's the same way as in English, you put will, right? Mm -hmm. And we said ja. That way, uh, the only the, the similarity is, is the future tenses. But the past, where we said in the past, we don't, well, I think, conjugate the, the words. But in English, that's why lots of people were afraid of, of saying something in the past because they have to, oh, go, went, gone, which one I use, mm -hmm. like, and because there's a lot of tense, tenses like present and present perfects are very really close together. So like they, they, they have to realize, memorize all the tenses and something like that. So, pretty pretty hard for them to to uh, memorize all of that. Okay, and so and so you're saying that's how that's how they're traditionally taught is with, yeah. with a lot of grammar. Yeah. And then and, and then what's uh, what's your approach for teaching? My approach is that um, for my uh, in my opinion, uh, I don't teach something that they already know. Uh -huh. So, if you are afraid of grammar, I won't touch. Well, I will touch it because you need grammar to to kind of like make a sentence. Mm -hmm. But that's it. I won't get into oh, this is word, this is noun, this is like if you want to talk, just talk and get the message right. Mm -hmm. That's it. But. Uh, if I want to teach correctly, I might specify the tense. I mean, like, you need to say, I went, instead of, I go yesterday, something like that. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. That's that's kind of like you know my, and if you want to. S- okay, and um, and I think that's um, I think that's interesting. Like like a lot of. Uh, um, and, and I've noticed a lot of Thai people are so afraid of, of of making grammar mistakes, like saying I I I go I go already. Yes. Um, that um, that that they're um, they're like oh I win I win already, and and they're so afraid that they don't actually they don't actually talk. So so it's interesting. Yeah. Um, it, it um, it's nice that, that like if someone's afraid of something, you won't um, you won't push it too uh, you won't push it too much. Just a, yeah, just yeah, a little yeah. bit. Well. There's a lot of issues about about teaching in English to the Thais because uh, you got different issues when when you come across some Thai people. Some Thai people don't really they can't pronounce S, for example, mm-hmm. or H because. Uh, because of their oh, and actually, you're the first Thai person that I've heard say H correctly. Even um, I have uh, a trick. <laughs> I have a trick. Well, yeah, yeah. Even um, even the um, even the people even the Thai people I know that like um, I can't hear anything else. Well, the, whenever um, whenever I hear whenever I hear them say H, they're um, it, it's head head something like that. Yeah, and then and, and then it's almost like they're going to die like <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. So so if if you want a if you want a Thai person to seem like they're dying then just say, "Hey, can you say the letter H for me?" Yeah. Um so so anyway, I'm um, sorry. What's huh? what's, what, what's your trick about saying H? Um the pronunciation is 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 the key. Mm-hmm. Because uh um when they see the H uh they always Think of Honoku, mm-hmm. which is like, huh? It's like, it's like the, it, it's like American and British, uh-huh. you know, like H and H. Uh, oh, like oh, yeah, yeah, because I, be, because I've heard I've heard some people try to say H, H, uh, H. which um, it's a, it, it's like because they we would um, I have to rewind a bit. Okay. Because, I mean, what well, um. Uh, back in the days, mm-hmm. because we we used the the British system when mm-hmm. we were taught about uh, the grammar and things like that. Mm-hmm. But nowadays, because all the social, all the medias are from the states, the speaking are Americans, but the <laughs> the, the grammars and uh, the writing are in English. English, English. So that's why it's kind of confusing. So lots of people ask me, um, I want to change my dialect, my, my accent. Which one I should go to, like American or English? I said, being yourself, being Thai is kind of like Thai accent is already fascinating because nobody nobody uh, as same as you you know but you need to more um, outspoken a bit because when I learned English one of my teachers said that um, Thai people likes to talk softly and quietly or there's kind of like whisper and being humble but my 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 one of my teachers in the international school told me that when you speak English, you speak like you have a hot potato in your mouth. <laughs> so you have to, you know, kind of like you know, pronounce it correct. Well, just just being burst, you know, outspoken that way. Oh yeah, and that's a um, that's a really interesting part about Thai culture that makes it, I think, really hard for Thai people to learn or or to, to practice English. Um, it's it's a it's a part of Thai culture that makes um, Thailand really friendly and, and everyone really like Thailand Too because uh, <laughs> uh, because um, because all uh, um, all all Thai people or at least all, all the Thai people I've met are really nice and friendly and mm. just re- really good people. 
but uh, but the, but Thai people are almost never like in your face, um, and so and so it's hard to or, or 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 very outspoken. So it's really hard to get a Thai person to uh, practice um, that, practice that, something that's like That's why English. I'm so so uh, confident about my my English mm -hmm. because um, I'm not. I don't think I'm unique or anything, but. Uh, feel confidence when I speak English yeah, and, and you said that uh, I'm the first person who who <laughs> pronounce H correctly uh, V I also pronounce kind of really close to the speaker because uh -huh. I think the when you talk about the alphabet mm -hmm. in English the couple well there are a few um, consonants that that are very hard for Thai for Thai to pronounce like S or S or H or V or TH but I still have the same problem with SH and CH because I can't distinguish the 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 the, the differences mm -hmm. uh, but those I kind of like adapt myself to to hear to learn about it and try to find the techniques to you know like the V mm -hmm. I try to teach people like you start with a, a like a W and end with F so it's V uh, ah. so like woof yeah huh. yeah and, and and that's something that um, Bec uh, because I, I never. Yeah, it's, I, it's, it's a native thing <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, for, yeah. for the for the for the one who's have uh, English as a second language, it's kind of you have to find your own techniques to to help you out. So I help people to okay, try this. If you don't like it, try to make it your own. Like, for example, H. Like um, I tell people that start with A, A, and end with Shao Chang or Shi, uh, H, something like that. So it's kind of like it's it's different approach, but the effect is the same way. You know, like you know, you make you make them pronounce the correct way instead of got the edge or something like that mm -hmm. so something that uh, you talked before yeah, yeah. Um, that, and and that's um, that's interesting and, and and I never well I saw this Thai movie it was about like a, a Thai English teacher that was like teaching teaching this uh, this guy who's kind of a thug I, um, uh, um, English because he has this girlfriend that is Chinese or something yeah. and um, and so 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 in the um, in the in the movie they have about a like one one minute long joke about the um, Thai people saying H and and the teacher's like no no it's not it's not this it's not this and and, and so he, he tries and he tries and he he can never say H sure. and so 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 after um, after that I um, after that I noticed um, oh yeah yeah it's not it, it's not just that one um, one scene in the movie it's sure. it's most most Thai people and then and, and then yeah it, yeah it's interesting there's uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, a lot of sounds. That aren't in Thai but are but are in English, like the um, like 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 the V sound. Um, yeah. and, and one of the funny things about the V sound is is um, you know shell um, sure. sh um, shell gas. So so shell, shell gas has this thing called called V power. Yeah. Um, but 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 in Thai you say we power. We power. And um, and and the funny thing is is we is the sound that like when little kids slide down the slide or or, or if um, or, or if a little kid has a like like toy car they're like we we yeah. so 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 whenever I see the shell gas and it's we power I picture not not, I like, not not like real cars but like a bunch of people that, playing that, with toy that, cars that, that, that's <laughs> a, like you can make a lot of 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 jokes from that because yeah. I think we we with the W, if you pronounce it incorrectly, uh -huh. we E E in British English is like 
you're going to pee or something. Oh, like oh, 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 yeah. So, um, so, so, so it's two things. <laughs> um, one, um, one is uh, one is another word for pee, and then uh, yeah, right. um, yeah, um, yeah, and um, and then uh, then the other one is the that, is the uh, is when, I, when kids say we like yeah, going yeah, down the slides. Right. Uh, I think I think I think is kind of a for me. I like to learn different accents, different dialects of English because at that way I kind of distinguish between the the pronunciation like H mm-hmm. and uh, like when you said uh, when you said hospital in French H is uh, not uh, pronounced. Okay, it's hospitals. It's a, it's the same. I th- I, th- I think it's a it's pretty similar to 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 uh, the British because all uh, other way around. When you said herbs, herbs, right? In in American uh, English, you said herbs. Yeah, and actually, my my mom my mom is from. My mom's from England, and uh, but I uh, but I was born I, I was born and raised in America, so that's uh, that's uh, that's something that's hard for me. So so I have to remember. Oh, my mom says herbs, so I should yeah, say herbs. Yeah, that's that's uh, always. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of like when you when you learn like like I told you before that uh, Thai people uh, learn grammar from British system. Mm-hmm. And and uh, learn speaking from uh, American system because of the movies, songs, stuff like that. So they kind of confusing between the the two. Like they have to learn. Oh, this is American. This is English. And and um, they kind of like get into that. Uh, you know. I need to find my specific accent. When they, when, when they didn't realize that they don't have accent at all when they <laughs> speak English. <laughs> so I don't. Lots of people say that oh, you have a good accent, you have a good American accent. Uh, I, I, I thought to myself sometimes that I don't have any accent. I have a Thai accent, and I, I'm pretty, pretty okay with it. I would like to have American accent, but if I have American accent, who do I have to talk to? <laughs> because everybody else around me are Thai. Well, if I talk in American accent, will they, you know, will they understand me? Mm-hmm. No, of course not. I have to, you know, to find like middle parts so that. Yeah, and that's um, that's something that one of the uh, one of the things that I try to do is I try to figure out how Thai people speak English. Yeah. And then and then a lot of times, um, so so a lot of times when I first meet someone, mm-hmm. I try to tell, oh, what's their uh, what's their level of English, and then I'll I'll try and speak to them in English, but I'll speak I, with a very you, Thai accent. I give you um, um, uh, a case or some cases about Thai pronunciation that will confuse a okay. lot of Amer- uh, Americans or English. Like, they, we tend to uh, simplify the, the last consonants. Like, my name, my full name is Tawan Po. Tawan Po? Tawan Po, T-H-A-V-O-R-N-P-O-L. That's uh, from Sanskrit, Sanskrit, okay. Bali Sanskrit, right? But in America, they pronounce Taiwan Po. In Thai is Taiwan Pon. You see the difference? Mm-hmm. Po and Pon. Mm-hmm. Because L in Thai is N like N. Mm-hmm. It's with Nanu. Uh, so, like a lot of, that's why they can't pronounce H or S. They would uh, use it with the D, so because it's kind of like simplified uh, sound for them. Mm-hmm. So when I hear a Thai say that international, <laughs> international, or vegetable, something like that, 
is pretty similar, pretty uh, familiar with that. Mm-hmm. So when when I teach them, I I have to put myself into in their shoes, mm-hmm. like you know, okay, they pronounce like this. How should I help them? You know, so I have to make a little trick, like like for example, uh, international. So you have to use all all the consonants that they give you. Mm-hmm. So international, something like that. So if you give the the means for them to pronounce, then they can pronounce it, or the the reason to not pronounce it correctly. But sometimes if you give them the reason and you pronounce like that they will say oh it's so posh it's so elegant it's so you know high so something like that like and they feel like why do I have to do that to get the foreigner to understand me mm-hmm. well that's the case <laughs> they don't understand you mm-hmm. you said inter- international only Thais can understand you. Yeah, yeah, and I think um, like like most um, most of the times when pronunciation is close, then it's um, then it's okay. But but especially like saying international, um, then I think most people would say, is that a new, is, is that like a, a, new, it, yeah. it, it, is that yes. is there an international building? Uh, yeah. uh, because I, I I know I know the word international, but I don't know the word international. Yeah. So, um, so 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 most foreigners I think would would think that the Thai persons trying to say a new word yeah uh, or creating a new word like yeah lots of people say um, you will get like lots of ta- um, lot of teacher in the social media use this scenario mm-hmm. to teach like for example Christopher Wright mm-hmm. um, he's um, um, half British half Thai also, um, Adam Bradshaw, mm-hmm. he also used this kind of like, you know, scenario to help teaching, help his teaching. And, but still, people tend to kind of get used to this, you know. When you say, oh, it, it's kind of like a habit to them. So, mm-hmm. when they said, um, uh, there's a lot of words, but the uh, international is kind of uh, back <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, so, so one of the things I noticed about you is that, um, there, there's a lot of like online message message boards where where, where foreigners will ask ask questions and sure, yeah. um, and I've noticed um, I've noticed that you're one of the people that's most um, most helpful um, on that. And so active so, so, and helpful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, active, um, active, helpful. So, so, so I'm wondering why, um, like, like what's uh, what makes you so passionate about helping just like random random people saying, hey, well, what's what's the difference between I this feel and like, this and um, well, I'm, I try to be, if I know the answer, uh-huh. I would help. But if I, do, I think lots of people got the point, I will leave it like that. Mm-hmm. It, it's kind of like, um, I don't know. I, I, I like, it, it's my nature to help people. Mm-hmm. I, like, I like to help people. Uh, back in the days uh, when I tutor English mm-hmm. or English to the Thai, I didn't charge them at all. I do it for free, for mm-hmm. charity or whatever. And one day, um, like, um, someone asked me, why don't do you do it for little money? Because nowadays, nothing is free. Mm-hmm. So um, I charge up a bit. So, uh, but back then I, I do it for my you know passion of teaching. Mm-hmm. I like teaching English. I like learning English. That's 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 the main thing. Why I kind of jump into it, and uh-huh. then, even so though it's even though it's it's kind of like you know oh it's the same as the other people who mm-hmm. turned. But I try to 
give the insight of 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 the, the explanation of something like that. Okay. And um, one of the uh, one of the questions that um, because I think I think a lot of I think a lot of Thai people are the same way, like in inside their heart, but because they're so afraid of talking to people, they never like. Um, and, and, and I'm not sure if it's they're um, they're afraid or they're self-conscious or, uh, but 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 somehow you were able to take like what you feel inside of helping people and then be more uh, um, uh, be, be a lot more like aggressive or yeah. Uh, or, or, uh, the um, thing is that um, and, and and aggressive is a really bad word in Thailand, but um, but 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 it's a it's a good word in Amer in America. Yeah. Um, um, so um, so 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 I'm wondering like what um, how were you able to like break over that barrier? Um. Ah. Uh. That, because what I'm going to say next is to answer <laughs> your questions. Because when I explaining things, mm -hmm. I don't know it only in Thai. Uh, some people, when they give you explanation, if you ask in, like, you know, you in the group of Thai learning, uh, foreigner learning Thai, mm -hmm. they always uh, tend to, you know, um, think that. Well, we are in the learning Thai group, so the answer would be in Thai. But when I give the answer, I would do both English and Thai, mm -hmm. kind of like mixing together. Because I think that um, if you put it together, uh, both, you will get more clearer. And I think that that's... that's that's make me kind of like more aggressive because I'm pretty proud of both um, um, language mm -hmm. of how I, I describe things, even though sometimes I confuse myself. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, most likely I, I try to explain things in English if they don't understand. I try to compare. That's that's the main thing because lots of people, lots of Thai people don't they they express their own feelings, their own knowledge, but not other ways around. You know, I I I kind of like used to both world. So so and um, did did you used to be did you used to be like a typical Thai person, really afraid of talking to foreigners? Back in the days, yes, not not <laughs> not nowadays. Um, if I will be that like that, I won't be here, uh -huh. won't I? <laughs> <laughs> um, if I, but but um, uh, if you ask me like seven years ago, mm -hmm. I would say fifty fifty, because I haven't met. Like uh, the foreigner, uh, like a foreigner who speak, like who who's a native speaker, uh, like you. Mm -hmm. so, so, so so wait. Um, how um, when did you meet when did you meet the first foreigner that was a na uh, native speaker? I meet them. I I have a friend in 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 the states, but we chat. Oh, okay. Uh, but for speaking, I think couple of years before after I arrived in Bangkok oh okay so it's kind of like I, I have to prepare before so what you know the thing is that uh, uh, the good, good thing about learning out of Thailand is that uh, when you are in the foreign land you have to think like the foreigner you have to think in English. Right now, sometimes I confuse because sometimes I think in Thai, sometimes I think in English, and then kind of like swap together something like that. So when whenever I speak English, I try to think in English. When I speak Thai, I try to speak thinking in Thai. But sometimes when I speak Thai, I start thinking in English and like, the word is just come out in English or something like that. So is it is afraid 
I won't use afraid. I would I would say uh, I need more confidence when when, when I face um, a foreigner. Okay. Afraid is is like ten years ago when when I uh, go back uh, when I go to to Belgium on the first day. Uh, I would say I'm afraid because of the culture shock, mm -hmm. more likely. Not of the language. Okay, and um, one o one other thing I wanted to talk about is you you said you were um, in uh, you, you lived in Ayutthaya, right? Yes. And and you said you. Um, uh, I'm, I didn't. Uh, I didn't live in Ayutthaya. I worked in Ayutthaya. Oh, okay. So, so so where did you live and where did you work? Um, I worked in the the uh, the um, international art and craft uh, center. Okay. Kind of like you know, um, is the um, um, they they kind of promote the art and craft products to the to the to the foreigner. Okay. Um, and I was um, back then I was um, I started a researcher mm -hmm. to research about um, all the art and craft Thai art and craft. Mm -hmm. And try to uh, see the the promotion in in the uh, outside world. And from there, I was promoted to to become um, a guide guide tour within the center. Ah, uh, okay, so, okay. So it really helped me to to. Um, kind of like you know, to to see a lot of people. So so um, so for, foreigners would come um, to the center, and you'd yes. you'd, you'd be their tour tour guide for yeah. uh, for about like the Thai um, Thai handicrafts and um, yes. uh, that's um, and, and and you said um, are are they like Thai dolls or or, or what, uh, what, uh, what, was, what what was the big thing that they made? Um, they made uh, like. Um, Bamboo's handbag or something like that, uh, uh, okay. or uh, a wood, um, a rattan, which is kind of like a rattan is like um, uh, materials that that grows um, like in the in, in the countryside or something like that. Okay, and, and, and is that is that also what they make that like ball for sports out of? Yeah, or the girl, the girl, oh, okay. yeah. Is is that made out of rattan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or or would be a, a chair something like that. Uh huh. Uh, uh, rattan in Thai is called Y, which is which is kind of pretty popular. Uh, back in the days they are popular, but now it's, nowadays they try to use plastic mm -hmm. instead of rattan. So, um, so that's um, that's really that, that's really cool and interesting. So, so I think that's um, I think this is a good time to um, to stop. Do you have anything else that you wanted to talk about mm -hmm. before we finish the interview? No, that well um, for the for, for the well, just keep learning. I mean, for for both sides, for mm -hmm. Thai who want to speak English or. Uh, Foreigner who want to speak Thai, keep learning. Find your your own techniques. Try to um, utilize the all everything around you to to help you learn. Like use all the medias nowadays. If you want to learn Thai, all the medias in Thai are in Thai. So mm -hmm. use it to to benefit your your learning Thai. If you want to learn English, all the medias are in English as well. So <laughs> it's white versa. So uh, both can help you. So um, the that's 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 it for me. Okay, cool. Well, um, thanks. Um, thanks very much. This has been a really interesting interview. It's sure. it's really cool to get to know you better and to um, and to hear all about your story. So uh, thanks very much. You're welcome. <laughs>